um, any stories about Shug? Big shit. <laughs> I remember one night, uh, I had a Mustang, you know, I had a candy blue Mustang with the, with the white top. It was candy blue, the interior, custom out. And we was at the gin and juice video. And my car was parked out there and Shug just came over and clowned the Shug. Talking about it's a nice car, wanted to see who car it was. You know what I'm saying? He's like, it was a nice car. But uh, other than that, you know what I'm saying? Like, only only real uh, interactions I had with Shug was probably at the 662 that night. You know what I'm saying? Back then. But other than that, I would see him. You know, he'd see me around. And, uh, I, no. And then the night that uh, the little conversation with Warren G in the studio. When they tried to, when they jammed Warren G up. Yeah. Okay, you were there? I was there. Yes, sir. Okay. What, what happened? Uh, can you give me a detailed story on that? Of, of, from your point of view, what happened? And actually, it's funny because when Style called me the other day, I told him about that. And it, we was all there and he brought all the memory. So actually, we was all at the studio. We was in the kitchen at Death Row gambling. Big Sight, Trey D, Little Style. Everybody was gambling. She kept peeping out the door like betting 100 to people's 20s. You know what I'm saying? But it was a big dice game that day. Corrupt, Snoop, Badass, Quick to Mac, all the little youngsters, they was all in the studio. And uh, Warren G, so the dice game was going on. And I think I went back in the studio with Snoop and him. And uh, Trey D came. And then next... Warren G came in the studio with Richie Rich from Oakland. Yeah. They walked in, and then next thing y'all know, we sitting in there, and Warren saying hi to everybody. Then Suge walks in, like, Warren, let me holler, let me holler at you. You know what I'm saying? So Warren's like, all right, I'll be out there. So Suge left, and Suge came back in, like, Warren, let me holler at you. Then he threw, you know, threw his arm around his, uh, the old Suge move, threw his arm around, let me holler at you. So they went back out there, and uh, next thing you know, you heard the uh, little commotion. You know, I guess they was going in on, and then a uh, big style jumped up and ran out in, ran into the kitchen and Trey D. That's who, that's who broke all that. And they was like, no, y'all can't do him like that. Y'all can't do him like that. And uh, yeah, I think Warren jetted out the thing and then, uh, and Red, this is what I want to tell Red. Yes, Red, I seen them niggas coming from behind the walls and they're like that Bruce Lee shit, nigga, in the Death Row studio. Like the spinning, the glass mirrors. Yeah, them niggas was coming from behind the walls and that shit stuck with me till today. Yeah, so yeah, they, and then after that, Warren left, and, and, and as I can remember, the dice game went on, Can-Am closed, Big Psych, Trey D, Little Style, me, my homeboy Ran Ran from IBC, we sat in the front door of Can-Am, they gambled till the sun came up, Trey D, Big Psych, Little Style, yeah, okay. that's what happened that night. Gotcha. And did Warren G leave with his chain or somebody got it for him? Uh, now, he got it back, but I don't know if he got it back. But uh, I don't know if it was Stout. He said it was his uncle that got it back. But if it, I, I want to say it was Trey D and, and uh, Big Stout. But I, 